My name is Staff Sergeant Cope. I'm an instructor here at the South Alaska Air Assault School. This morning we're going to go over the fuel blivets. The reference material that covers that is TM 4-48.10. So the first thing that you're going to look at on the fuel blivets is the load brief, okay? So you're going to have the aircraft, which is going to be a CH-47 or a UH-60, okay? Weight of the load is either going to be between 4,200 pounds or 12,600 pounds, okay? And then the link count is going to be for that rear single blivet, all right, and that link count is going to be 55. Once I've looked at my load brief and I'm good, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on one side of the blivets and I'm gonna check for that first triangle. Then I'm gonna walk over to the second side of the blivets, all right, and I'm gonna check for that second triangle to make sure they're on the first two and make sure that they are opposing, okay? Once I've done so, I'm gonna come to my fuel nozzle, all right, I'm gonna wrap my hands around and make sure that tape is going all the way around. There are no slits in this tape, okay? I'm gonna check my 5 8 inch screw pin clevis, make sure that it has a cotter pin. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my sling leg. I'm going to simply just pull left and right, all right? And then I'm gonna make sure that that chain is routed properly. I'm gonna get to the grab hook assembly itself. All right, I'm gonna make sure that my aluminum roller is on the inside of that potted eye. And then I'm gonna check the link count, which needs to be three for the double blivets, okay? So one, two, and snap. Once I've done so, I'm gonna come over here to the other 5 8 inch screw pin clevis. All right, I wanna make sure that it has a cotter pin. Then I'm gonna get right here to the fuel nozzle, make sure it's taped all the way around and that there are no slits in that tape. Okay, moving to the back blivet. So this is your single blivet. All right, the link count for this again needs to be 55. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick this up. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna check my fuel nozzle again to make sure that tape is routed all the way around all right and it is not does not have a slip in it all right once i've done so i'm going to go ahead and put that down all right i'm going to check this excess chain i'm going to make sure that the excess chain is wrapped around these two standing ends and then the excess itself is tied off to just one of the two standing ends like it is so okay once you do that Go ahead and pull this out. You're gonna again check that grab hook assembly, make sure that your aluminum spacer, aluminum roller is on the inside of that potted eye. All right, good to go. All right, then you're going to go to the other side and you're gonna start with that back blivet. Again, you're going to have a link count of 55. You're going to pick this up. You're gonna check that fuel nozzle, make sure tape's going all the way around. You're gonna check the middle, make sure that there's no slits in that tape. You're gonna Make sure that your excess chain is wrapped around the two standing ends, and then it is secured to one of those two standing ends. The knot does not matter for the Type 3 nylon. You're gonna move to the grab hook assembly. Make sure that aluminum roller is on the inside of that potted eye. All right, it is good to go. Now, you're gonna move to the middle blivet. Same thing, you're gonna check all the way around, make sure there's tape and then there are no slits in this middle. You're gonna check that 5 8 inch screw pin clevis. Make sure that it has a cotter pin. All right, you're gonna grab your sling leg, go left and right to make sure that it is routed properly. Once you've done so, you're gonna come make sure that the grab hook assembly, it is good to go. Aluminum spacer is on the inside of that potted eye, and then the link count needs to be three. So one, two, and snap. Once you've done that, you're gonna to move to your last 5 8 inch screw pin clevis. All right, you're gonna make sure that it has a cotter pin. And then last thing that you check for the blivet right here, all right, taped all the way around, and then there are no slits. You're gonna to move to your sling legs. All right, your sling legs need to have one cluster breakaway with a piece of quarter inch cotton webbing, okay? So that's all the way around, all four of them. You're gonna get up here to your apex, okay? Since it said CH47, I do not need a spacer. 
So I'm gonna put my hand right where that spacer would be. I'm gonna check my bolt, castellated nut, and cotter pin. So my bolt is here, my castellated nut is facing out or away from the big apex fitting pin, and then it has that cotter pin. Now, next thing you need to do is check and trace those sling legs to make sure that they are routed properly. So this is called the phase two gang sign, all right? Just like so, all right? So these outside fingers, all right, that's gonna represent those outside legs and they will go to the front. So, just done that, I'm gonna trace this outside leg and it goes to the front. I'm gonna take this leg and it's gonna go to this one, to the back, to that next inside one. Gonna trace it, make sure that it goes to the back as well. And this last outside one is going to go to the front. 